Okay. Ah. Are we in? I think so. Uh, I'm just... <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Um, just just talk, Zoe, because I think we are. But I just have to. Oh, good morning, or good evening, or good afternoon, wherever we are. Hi. How are you all doing? Anybody there? Would you like to? Anybody there? <laughs> so I can put your name up. Of, uh, Otherwise, we'll just talk amongst ourselves. Tell, tell them who you are, Zoe. Um, hi, darling. Zoe Henderson here. I am here to help you with um, questions and problems and answers to give you for your animals. Horses, dogs, carrots, carrots, parrots, uh -huh. carrots. <laughs> whatever animals you have I'm talking about um, well all the animals and nature animals the birds the rabbits cows all the animals in the world so we can go into the zoo hi there. I'm just saying hi to Sarah Vidari who's just uh, dropped a message dropped a oh, hi darling is she, the, is she here yes 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 so Sorry about that. It took me a minute there. So let me introduce Zoe. Yeah. Hi. Zoe. Hi. Zoe Henderson. Or is it this way? I'm not sure. Anyway, we're down here. And we've got one. Only one. Don't know. Just don't even worry about okay, that. We don't know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just uh Hi Sarah, darling. How are you doing? How are your how are your babies? Oh yeah. Let us know. Let us know. Yeah. So we're here to talk all about animals. Zoe is an animal healer, animal communicator, uh, psychic healer, energy worker, et cetera, et cetera, all that stuff. Um, and so I suddenly realized I was shouting through the house. Um, uh, yeah, we want to talk about animals today. So your animals, we've got a couple of animals here from um, clients of Zoe's that she's working on at the moment that we'll talk about. We're working on an animal communication course, me and Zoe. We thought we'd have had it finished by now, but we haven't. But I'll soon. Because it just takes longer than we thought. But yeah, we're interested in all things animal communication, telepathic interspecies communication. Um, and also, yeah, just helping people have better relationships with their animals, understand that when an animal is out of sorts or behaving badly, there's a good reason. And there's no point getting angry. Um, it's about understanding each other better. Wouldn't you say, Zoe? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And of course, the other thing with the animals, um, you've got to be careful with yourself and what you think and how you feel because of the transfer. And that's a biggie with all uh, guardians and animals. There's a transfer between the two, particularly yes. the animals yeah, taking on problems with their guardians, whether it be stress or pain somewhere you know it's it's so easy we've got to remember that not to have bad thoughts when you're around your animals not to give animals our stuff basically because yeah don't dump I don't jump on them I mean they are your guardian angels and they are your best friends and of course you can talk to them in, in the way that we talk to each other and uh, share everything but be careful with when you're sharing bad problems you don't want to distress them by dumping all your stress on them like like do you remember the one that i had in in um zurich a horse that i was doing mm. and he was a head shaker and the lady asked me if i would uh, heal him so i went in and had a word with him and found out what he was saying and all the rest of it and then i turned around to and dared myself to say yeah well actually uh i can't do your horse because he's just told me that you're going through a very bad divorce and you're near to having a nervous breakdown so i can't do him unless i do you first to get rid of your stress to be able to touch him well she just burst into tears and said you're absolutely right so mm. this poor and then this poor horse had just taken on board all of that stress yeah and he was a head shaker to begin with slightly but then it just exasperated it and got worse and worse because the more she dumped on him with her stress the worse it got yeah 
I think um, if you live with an animal, any animal that lives with, with humans will take on their stuff to a degree. So if it's a happy household, you're probably going to have to a degree, you know. Um, happy, happy, happy puppies. Yeah, happy animal. And if your household is full of illness and um, sickness and depression, then yeah, the animal's going to reflect that as well. Yes, and of course, the other thing with the animals, they're, they're all our healers. So you've yeah. got pets at home, like one of the families I've just been doing on Zoom uh, was a, um, a young man who's not well. So I was doing healing on him, but this dog is so close to him that, well, all, all animals are healers to all their guardians. But every time I do the healing here on this, this guy, the dog comes in, jumps, jumps on top of him and lies on top of him with his head facing down and seriously helps me with the healing. You can see it. Mm. And then um, when the guy goes to sleep, the dog goes to sleep. Right, yeah. Oh, this is Harry and Toby. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely uh, fantastic, fantastic to watch. Yeah. In fact, in fact, today I was doing, when I was doing it today, because Toby the dog usually howls when I start going into the chanting and the healing book, because I know he's helping me and that's what he does. Mm. Because he's not been very well himself lately, he's had an upset stomach. When he was doing it today, I said, thank you, Toby, thank you, Toby, it's all right. You go to sleep now, you need the healing. This is in the middle of the session. Yeah. And then just like that, he, he goes to sleep. Mm. And then I go to another part of the body and do some more healing at a different time. Yeah. Uh, start again with the chanting and in Toby comes again, howling. Uh, to yeah. Dog singing. To, yeah. Mm. Dog singing, not howling, singing. Yeah. And I said, Toby, it's all right, darling, it's all right. You go to sleep because you need the healing too. And he just goes down straight away and shuts his eyes. Yeah. Well, animals are so much more receptive to energy healing than humans a lot of the time because they don't put up any barriers to it. They don't, yeah. science can't prove this, then it can't be true. They, yeah, just, they accept it. So, mm. Same same with children. Mm, mm, yeah. Children totally accept. So um, we're wanting to... Uh, oh, Sarah says that um, Athena is healing with antibiotics. Right. That's good. Uh, good. Yes. Well, what was it in the end? Was it an abscess or was it just infection there? Because you, you showed me the photo, yeah. I'll let Sarah, if she's still there, I'll let her answer that one. Um, yeah. So uh, what we, we have a couple of examples of um, animals today. We've got a horse and a dog that have been struggling. Um, but we're also happy to just take questions on the spot. So if you've got an animal that um, you just don't understand why the animal's doing this, that or the other, uh, yeah, just drop us a, a, a comment in the questions and um, Zoe will have a go at seeing if she can get any information on that for you. Uh, right, so shall we, oh, it's, let's um, not forget that, oh, it was a couple of days ago, wasn't it? Animal World Day was up to yeah, yeah. Yeah, so anyway, so yeah, October's all about animals, animal welfare. Yes, but also are we not doing a discount for the animal? We are, yep. Anyone who wants a healing for their animal, um, it's forty percent discount for online sessions uh, with Zoe, um, and for everyone who books, uh, you, Zoe will give ten pounds to the RSPCA. Okay. Oh, Sarah's just come back with a bit from, from more information about Athena. Yeah. So she says that uh, it seemed to be an abscess yeah. within the in the neck, and then moved. Yeah. To the jaw, I think. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> try to heal her without medicines, but it didn't work out. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah, you need antibiotics, Sarah. There's nothing to. Yes, thought it was. That's yeah. Um, feel bad about with that. So I'll send Athena some healing, darling, just to to help her a bit more. Hmm. Mm, yeah. Uh, okay. So, Mrs. Zoe. Do oh, yes. to talk about, should we look at some of the animals we've got and then uh, if anybody um, has a question, I'll just keep an eye on the questions. Yeah. Right. Should we start with Clifford? 
yes. Okay. This is this, Lip, is, uh, this little gorgeous thing. He's absolutely gorgeous, and he's got um, separation syndrome, if you like. I think but, a lot of dogs do, don't they? The whole. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Leaving dogs at home alone when you're off at work or whatever it can be really hard on them. Yeah. And it depends. You see, this dog, um, it's not his first home. And on his first home, uh, the lady died. And then he, that was her dog, really. And the husband then thought that he would want, and he did, really. He's better with, with women. So he wanted a lady owner. Mm. That's what he thought. So then he then passed it on to the next home, of course, as a female. And she's found that um, ever since she got him, every time she goes out for shopping and has to leave him or goes to golf and has to leave him in the house, he just yells the house down and does yeah. not stop. And this is quite a long, quite a long time now. It's a couple of years, I think. Uh, and it's just just non-stop and she's tried everything she's tried um animals uh psychiatrist not psychologist psychiatrist what are they behaviors yeah no um yeah psychology animal psychologists mm. and uh other things every sort of thing that she can think of getting so and it hasn't helped so and i've been doing um energy healing on him every morning and every night and this is distantly yeah she's a new zealand and uh it seems to be having effect mind you i've just started but the thing is with distant healing it doesn't matter whether they're actually in front of you with you or anywhere in the world because the healing goes through the energy field yeah so whether it's beside you in the same room or at the other side of the world they will still feel it. Yeah. So what does Clifford, I mean, did you communicate with Clifford? What did he tell you? Yeah, well, he said um, at the very beginning, he was, it was like an ab abandonment. It is an abandonment thing. At the yeah. very beginning, when he was a puppy, he was abandoned. Now that could have been from his mother. Yeah, okay. And, yeah. yeah. And then uh, he was so attached I mean, that was ingrained, it always is, because it's a, a childhood trauma that just sits in your energy field yep. and you have the memory of it the whole time. Yeah. Or the feeling of it the whole time. Yeah. So then uh, when his guardian died, he he was just absolutely beside himself with mm. fear, with fear, with anger, all these emotions, terrified because she'd left. Even, yeah. though the, even though the guy was there, it wasn't the same thing. Yeah. And she couldn't understand why she was abandoned. Of course, through that, um, it took her to the feeling when she was a puppy. Yeah, brought it all back. That feeling then came back yeah. and manifested. Yeah. But does, I mean, animals have a, as far as I understood, animals understand death better or better than we do. They're, at peace with it they understand the cycle of life and death they're okay with it much more than humans are as far as i'm understand so yeah. does clifford understand that his previous mum human mum passed over uh yes he, he he does now but at the beginning he couldn't yeah. understand it he didn't, he oh, he didn't realize she died yeah does that happen when the the pets just don't actually the owner just vanishes and they don't actually realize they've died well, they think they're coming back. They just think they're coming back, but they're not coming back, but they know what's happened because then, then they accept it. But mm. anyway, it's it's the actual presence of of her that he wanted, you know, even though he knew that she was up there. And do you know, the same thing happened mm. um, when the owner's cat got run, got run over. He went into a terrible state then, but he oh, knew that yeah. she'd gone, you see. Yeah. But anyway, with, with Clifford, uh, it's the attachment of somebody that's present if he's not there, like, like, like the owner, when she goes out shopping, he, he just wants her there the whole time. So, so he's that, very that is, insecure, basically. Yeah. yeah. Very, very. Yeah. 
So, how's so, I mean, how are you going to solve that? How are you going to build this little fellow up? Well, it's just sending it's just sending him messages through from heart to heart of mm -hmm. love because all the all the communication and the healings go from heart to heart with love. And it's just um, t sending them the messages that is really, really loved by his mummy. Yeah. And his mummy is just going out. It's repeating all these things. They're just going out for shopping. Won't be long. He can go down and go to sleep and be comfortable and know that he's, she is coming back soon. And it's just mm. rep repeating all these um, statements of he's safe, just go to sleep, mummy's coming back, and just get so that he... He gets that into his head that it, it, it's going to be a short time and then uh. it will happen. But it's also going into, I go into his energy field to clear it of the traumas of the memories. Yeah, trauma. of the yeah. feelings of the feelings. Mm. And la gonna, little by little. Sorry, interrupt, sorry. I was going I just remembered I saw, um, a, you know, Season of the Land, the dog whisperer. I saw a show he did once about a dog that did something similar. And part of the healing or the therapy was giving the job, oh, sorry, giving the dog a job. So when the family left, the dog understood that it was now his job to look after the house. Oh, the house, yes. Yeah, he's now, yes. so it wasn't just being, he wasn't being left, he was actually given a, yeah, a job to do. That's a good well, idea, I've heard of that one before too. Yeah, yeah so. But yeah, it sounds like little little Clifford is just a bag of nerves, really. Poor yeah, week. and he's he's absolutely besotted with his owner. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. So, what do you so, tell the owner as well? So, what, what advice? Because obviously, the owner must have a, a role to play in. Yes, and you know, she's she's got to say the the same things to him. Mm. Uh, stop the anxiety that she's got in the head saying oh god he's going to be barking all the all the way through when i'm out you know i mean yeah. he's going to pick that up whatever she's thinking she can go yeah. out the door and thinking I, I hope it's going to work i hope he doesn't um get the the neighbors enraged again you know all these sort of negative things and i've said to her, keep be careful what you think mm. keep yourself positive he's going to be fine and just say, i know he's going to be fine he, he he loves his bed he loves the house he's looking after the house maybe for me whatever yeah 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 okay so how many how many healings have you done on clifford so far two okay. not enough yeah right clifford's gonna take a bit more work yes mm. well mm. every day till it till it happens but it's we're positive about it for sure yeah because you just want to get him to the stage where he's really doesn't mind people coming and going and he feels secure and yeah like this is it this is it but you know when it's when it's a childhood trauma, it can stick for life, especially right, exactly. abandonment. The same as humans. Same as humans. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Interesting. Um, shall we talk about Kismet? Yeah, Kismet. The horse. Yes. He's well. He's got uh, the rear suspensory problem. Well, he's had problems since 2014, so it's been an ongoing thing. He's got a what problem, Zoe? Dispensary, the, the ligaments, muscles at the back of the legs, oh, okay. yeah, near the hoofs, going up from the hoofs into the, into the back there. And uh, it's quite a common, it's quite a, a common thing with horses, but when they get it, it can be really serious. Mm. Uh, um, it's the same with grass, the same problem that grass got. Oh, right, another horse that we know. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it can... With that, you don't always notice it happening because it can be gradual. I mean, if they're doing their dressage and uh, that's it, fine, they're not lame. They can actually um, have damage to them without n them going lame. And mm. then suddenly they'll go lame and then it's more serious than you thought because it's already started. Yeah. And it can go on for a long time and then you've got rest, rest for three months or whatever till they, it depends how serious it is. Um, and then once they've had it, of course, it's like re repetitive strain syndrome. Mm. It can just happen again. So there, it's it's quite a serious um, thing. Have you to had have. a little, little chat with Kismet? What yes, and I because I used to treat him uh, years ago 
because he's in Wales. So yeah. when I went up when I was in Wales, that must be five years ago, uh, when I was up there a lot doing the same thing and with the same problem. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, what did he say? Because um no, he said he said it's not it's not as bad as it used to be, so it does seem to be improving. But uh, the it's the there's a, a rubbing of the bones, so we need it needs a fluid in it. Okay. And you can feel it. You can feel it. So I said to him, and I've done it already distantly, um, and I'll be seeing him on Saturday anyway. Mm. Uh, not live in the stable on Zoom. So right. I'm, I've been putting a blue fluid healing healing liquid into into the suspensories, right? Into the joints. It's the joints that are, that are grind. You know, it's grinding. Mm, bone, mm, bone. Mm, mm, poor thing. That's got to hurt. Yes, it does. Yeah. I thought it meant the injection. That won't hurt at all. You no, no, know. I mean the, the grinding of the bones. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to hurt. Yeah. But anyway, do you know, it's just reminded me because I wonder if it was him the last time, not the last time. There was one day I went up um, to Catherine's stables and wow. I was there for five days or something. And I was doing uh, a talk on um, doing healing and surgery and all the rest of it, demonstration. So I have a, had about 20 to 30 people there and they were all sitting on straw bales and then he came I think it was him if it wasn't it's a nice story <laughs> right but um so he came in and then when I felt across him and found out where it was and I said well there's something he ended some foot but anyway he had a bad foot anyway um and then at the at the demonstration that particular time he had a bandage on so it was obvious it, a bandage on the back yeah um, it could have been him foot uh yeah ankle bit foot or oh, yeah, a little bit and so i said to them i mean that i didn't have to find that it was obvious because the bandage was on it and so i said to them well with this bit um what i'm going to do because it's underneath the hoof so I'm going to take his hoop up and I'm going to see what's there. So I went and saw what was there and that needed surgery, a bit like the Paris one. So I thought, well, I'll do it. So but I did what I had to do. Then I put blue healing liquid injections into it. And mm. then we put the bandage back on again. And then he went into his, off into the stable. So I said to the crowd, and there were about, four or five men there that I could see were saying, yeah, right, you're this yeah. 50 50 and stuff. And yeah, I knew yeah. they didn't believe in any of it. And it was hard actually doing a demonstration with these guys sort of talking yeah. and referring to each other saying, yeah, right, yeah, what, well, right, no. Yeah. <laughs> so I said to everybody, I said, right, okay, I'm going to be back here at six o'clock tomorrow morning. So if you'd all like to come back and have a look at the results, because I'm sure you will be fine by tomorrow morning. Mm. You can cut that now. Take that was a that was a risk. That are you, I'll take the bandage off in front of you and see. Uh, so a few of them did come back. Not not the the very mouthed guy that was mouthing off things, but some of the other ones, and the or the very non-believer, I should say. Mm. Don't be rude about him. Nice so anyway, uh, there was about four that came back, I think. And so we went into the stable and we took off the bandages and lifted his foot up and then took off the bandages. And the bandages were sodden with blue liquid. Mm. And that's what I put into them, blue liquid healing. Yeah. Energetically, yeah. yeah. Energetically. And it just shows that sometimes, and this happens a lot, no, not a lot, sometimes or very often in between sometimes and very often yeah 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 they will say we're going to man we're going to materialize it so what's yeah. the word i want it's not that anyway yeah yeah no materialize it's, that's Is it that's it we're going to actually show the people that this does work yeah 
Yeah, we'll give them something to think about. Yeah. Yeah, so that was the proof, and it was magic, actually, I have to say. That's yeah. happened a few times in, in, with animals and people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Oh, yeah, so come back to K Kizzy. So... Um, mm. It uh, could have been him then, because th this this condition can go on for a long time and get worse or completely heal. It's a difficult one to treat. Mm, mm. Oh, well. Um, and how many healings have you done on Kismet so far? Only last night. Okay. But I've, I've got him in person on Zoom on a Saturday. Okay. But I'm, I'm doing him every night as well. When I do the distant healings, when you give me your animals, um, I always do it the first thing in the morning, last thing before I go to bed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Depending on how bad it is, the, the recovery. But sometimes it's immediate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, everyone's, yeah, so it's, you're never going to know, are you? Because um, just like with humans, some yes. things move yeah. and other things are not. Yeah. And m the mind goes with it. The mind mm -hmm. and heart goes with it yeah 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 makes a difference okay all right so that's all the animals that we've got um to talk about um what else would you like to discuss today zoe if anything um just, well just to let everybody know really that uh we are going to be doing this or we are in the middle of doing this course yeah yeah um, for animal communication yeah um, we'll probably we'll probably do the animal healing one later to mm. follow to be followed by yeah uh, and uh, so it's it's a bit different in as much what we're going to do is we're going to actually do should we tell them or should we leave it a secret <laughs> Oh, no, I think we can we can talk about it. Um, yes, because we're going to do it like, yeah. yeah, we're going to do it like a live, being a live course, because I'm going to take Tam through from the beginning and into, obviously, you've got all the, 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 uh, the lessons and what have you going all the way through, but we're going to do demonstrations on everything. We're going to film everything. Mm. So filming how you start to get yourself prepared for going into communication and then visualization we're doing then we're going to be doing meditations to get your body still all sorts of different things make sure you're in the right head space before you start mm. uh, make sure you've cleared yourself of all the stuff that you don't yeah. need and many more things with little stories going through it but uh, the the difference is that we will be doing it in action so i will be telling tam what to do and she will be doing it and you will I'll see give it a go <laughs> then i'll see if i can speak to my cat <laughs> yeah yeah no your cat's gorgeous we speak to each other often little rascal he's the ruler of the house yeah, is he there um i don't know i'll, I'll just take it okay. I'll have a quick look. <laughs> is that often how when um, Tam's doing yoga with me and, and some others in the morning, this cat comes along sometime and I talk to him and he likes to get his own way. He rules the roost. Um, he's the boss. Certainly as far as Tam's concerned, he doesn't get away so much with so much with our husband. I found him. Have you found him? Yeah, he was asleep though, so he's... Oh, he'll be jolly cross. Hello, he's, darling. He's a little bit... <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, he is so gorgeous. Hello, darling. Open your eyes. I just see a black face there. <laughs> is, it, is it... Oh, is this? Oh, gorgeous. All right. All right. Uh, right. How dare you, mummy, pick me up? <laughs> I was fast asleep. He's, he's got a mind of his own, this one, you know, he's, okay, so I'll put up for it for a minute, but I might not sit still. Yeah, yeah. And I was just saying to everybody that he's he's the boss. I mean, he's got such an amazing character. He's going yeah. to get away from you in a minute because he's cross now. He wants to go back. Let me go. Let me go. I'm going. Hang on. Just say hello to Auntie Zoe. Hello, 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 Auntie Zoe. H
Hello, darling. I'm a drop your you case. Oh, yes, Jake. Oh, oh, yes. Jake, sorry. Sorry. He's sorry. pretty furious. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, because he's, but he's all he's laughing now. You see, the thing is, he can get Tam round his little finger, and if he says jump, she'll run. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but with Adrian, her husband, he's, he he does pay more attention to the rules. <laughs> Adrian's a soft touch as well, frankly. Yes, yeah, but you're the worst. I know, I know. What to do? <laughs> it is gorgeous. I mean, he's just such a brilliant healer for yeah. you two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, I've had um, clients come to me for healing sometimes, and he will sometimes be on the bed. and be part of it. What like, does he do? He he comes in and he's he, he'll he'll pick his clients, but sometimes he'll. I had one woman who who was really going through a rough time, and. Um, he just insisted on coming in the room, meowed, 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 so he came in. He didn't know this woman, he's not, and he just came and sat on her knee. She was crying, like really probably crying, and he just sat there and she stroked him, and it seemed like actually he was getting, she, she was getting more healing from him than from yep. him. Do you know that that happens too? When I was, when I was in Abu Dhabi doing, um, a healing two or three days with a lady that's got five cats yeah and i was doing yes and i was doing healing for some of her her friends for you coming in every single person that came in and lay on the bed mm. all the cats came in and sat on i had five wow sat on as long as they it was accepted by cats yeah. and the patient yeah to have that happen so five of them came and sat on her, on practically everybody that, that allowed, you know, wanted animals with them. Mm. And the healing, you could actually feel the energy. Mm. And then here, you know, I've had people here when, when I've had my daughter's cat stay for its holidays. Yeah. And always he comes in and goes on top of the patient. And this is what they do. Yeah. And yeah. they will sit on the part that needs to be healed. Yeah. When it was five cats, I had them down the chakras sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just amazing what they do in the way of healing. Yeah. yeah, we've got, humans have got no idea how brilliant animals are, really. Even the ones no. that I know, I don't think really know. No. Um, I mean, it's absolutely amazing what they teach us. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, we need to get our communication course finished so that um, you can teach me how to. Oh do yes, we went off a bit there, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we that was my fault. Jake some questions. <laughs> we didn't get a chance to ask. Did you mention? No, no, ask no, any no. no, he didn't want any questions. He was cross. He was in the middle of a sleep. I know. He yeah. He was. Go away. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. It's it's like when when he's down there waiting for breakfast and you haven't arrived. You're saying, "Where is it?" <laughs> yeah. I'm in my breakfast now, doesn't he? Yeah, he yeah he tends to do that throughout the day. Um, <laughs> well, food now. He's a, he's a he's a bit of a grazer, so yeah. yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Anyway. Right, well, uh, that's it. What time is it? Okay, I think that um, we haven't had any questions. So, um, from anybody out there with animals, so. I think we just leave it there. Yeah, wind off. So we, yeah. Okay, um, lovely to see you all. I'll just write your, your if anybody does want um, intuitive healer dash course, if anyone does want to book an animal healing or, or a, a human healing session um, with Zoe, then I've just put the website address in um, to the comments. And you'll find a, a booking page there and you can see all the different services Zoe has. And like I said, for October, there is a 40% discount on online animal sessions, communication or healing. And um, for everyone who books one of them, Zoe will give £10 to the RSPCA in honour of um, World Animal Week. Oh, um, yeah, so the code. So yeah, if you do, the code is the discount code to pick the... Oh, you know what I mean. The code you need to use in order to get the 40% discount is World Animal Day, which I've just also typed into the 
um, comments. So, uh, but yeah, if you have any any problems, just email Zoe via her website and just say, oh, I want the discount, but I can't figure out how. So yeah, and she'll sort that out. Um, okay. Yeah. All um, right. We'll leave it there for now. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Naveen. Saw that little thank you from you. And um, yes, and have a have a have a, have a lovely animal world animal month and be nice yes. to pets. So mm -hmm. be kind to the animals and yourselves. Yes, absolutely. All right, and goodbye till next time. No, so no. Bye.